welcome to Hitman Boxing. Post-fight thoughts on the Amir Khan versus Phil LaGreco fight. Amir Khan wins this fight in 40 seconds. Now, nobody really gave Phil LaGreco a chance of winning this fight, but in the back of our heads, we were all like, well, if he taps Amir Khan's chin, Amir Khan's going down. But Amir Khan came out, looked sharp, great hand speed. Uh, hands were hitting the target, basically, right? Now, this is what you could say. You could say Amir Khan is back. Amir Khan is the top guy at 147 now that he's beaten Phil LaGreco. I mean, Sean Porter fought Phil LaGreco, beat him in 10 rounds. Errol Spence fought Phil LaGreco, beat him in 3 rounds. But Amir Khan beat Phil LaGreco and beat him in under a round. So that means that Amir Khan is number one at 147, right? Right? Isn't that correct? Man, hell no, that shit ain't correct. Man, get out of here with that. Man, look, Amir Khan beating Phil LaGreco proves nothing, all right? You fought him at 150. You haven't been in the ring in two years. Albeit, you look sharp. But, I mean, we all, we all knew what was going to happen. Most people were rooting for Phil LaGreco to win because nobody likes you, Amir Khan. We sick of you because you're a diva, you know? And after this fight, Kell Brook got into the ring and you know how Amir Khan just suns Kell Brook. Like, he just suns him every time he gets in the ring, right? But, you know, Amir Khan says he's not running from Kell Brook. And he said at some point he'll, he'll fight Kell Brook and he'll beat Kell Brook. However, Amir Khan said he's a 147-pound fighter. And it sounds like he doesn't have any, any um, you know, any thoughts or, or should I say any plans on moving up to 154, which is where... Kell Brook is fighting now. Obviously, Kell Brook has the interim WBC championship at 154. But, obviously, the weight is the issue. Uh, Amir Khan says he, he's a 147-pound fighter, even though he just fought at 150, okay? But he says he's a 147-pound fighter, and he says he wants to become a world champion again. Now, if you want to be a world champion again, Amir Khan, at 147, you know, you're going to risk getting hurt badly, okay? You got Spence, who's the IBF champion, you got Keith Thurman, who's the WBC and the WBA champion. And then you've got uh, Jeff Horn, who is the who is that, WBO champion. He's going to be fighting Terrence Crawford soon, so that could change. But to be quite honest with you, Amir Khan, you don't win any of those fights. So you're never going to become a champion at 147. Your best bet is to just move up to 154 and fight Kel Brook and fight him for that fake belt. The... um. You know, the interim uh, candy WBC belt, man. Just go ahead and fight him for that. But, you know, good. You know, I guess it was a good win for Amir Khan. But let's not act like Phil LaGreco was a world-class fighter. You know, this is his fourth loss. And anytime he's stepped up in competition, he's lost. You know, thing is, the big thing to take away from this is he punks you in a press conference and you pour water on him like he was a little girl. But you got your redemption back, right? So I guess Amir Khan's pretty happy about tonight. Um, a win after two years, and, you know, I, I guess his fans still appreciate him. I really don't know. I'm, I'm not a huge Amir Khan fan. You have to go over to uh, Shady Slim's page or something, man. But, yeah, just I just don't see Amir Khan beating any of the other champions at 147. He's just, he got hand speed, you know, combinations. He got a little bit of power. He got a little bit of pop to his punches, man, because you don't see him coming, but, it's just that glass chin, bro. Like, you're not finna beat these champions at 147. You're not even finna beat most of the top 5, 10 guys at 147. If you fight Danny Garcia, you're probably gonna get stopped again. Uh, Sean Porter, that's a nightmare. Terrence Crawford, oh my God. Terrence Crawford would just... Oh my God. Terrence Crawford would put you in a body bag. Um, what is Amir Khan doing? What do y'all be doing in the UK, man? Why it be taking so long for them to, to get to the post-fight interview? Kell Brook's still talking, man. This dude, he's been begging Amir Khan for this fight for years. Why Amir, man, Kell Brook look a little, a little off, man. Why his face look like that? He been eating too many of them chocolate brownies, man. His face breaking out. But anyway, Amir Khan, man, just a con, man. Let me know what you guys thought of the fight. Amir Khan, congrats on winning. Uh, in 40 seconds against Phil LaGreco. Uh, 
You know, Phil LaGreco is probably ranked like number 70 or something like that, but he got a payday. That's all that matters. And Amir Khan got to shake off some of his ring rust. Uh, his fans got a chance to see him tonight. And at the end of the day, that's all that really matters. Let me know what you guys thought of the fight. Hitman Boxing, hashtag ASBC. We are the A-Side Boxing Community. I'm out. Taking my daughter away from me, she's in New York, and you know, they've taken her away from me. I can't even see her for us threatening me, never to, for me to see my daughter again. I mean, these things I don't want to, I don't want to live like this, man. And look, I only went out yesterday because I'm so stressed out with all the, all the drama that's going on, and I just wanted to let myself go, you know. Uh, I don't drink alcohol or anything, but I just went out with, with a group of friends and I had to enjoy my night. But look, guys, um, please don't use it against me. I did nothing wrong yesterday. I was just so frustrated with with everything that's got on, and I just do apologize, and I'm sorry for, you know, for think, upsetting you all. So I'm in Dubai at the moment, I think I need to get the flight back, so I'm going to leave tomorrow morning, and I think it's time to go back and just sort if there's, look, I am going to, the divorce is going through anyway, um, but I'm just not happy, you know, with things, and that's the reason. I went out last night, honestly. Otherwise, I'm not like that. Um, I'm gonna go to the gym today, do some training, and that's it. This world will bring you down with mass confusion and complexities, but I am the master of my fate and captain of my soul, you see. Stuck in a mentality that says one thing and does another, oh, the contradictories. That's when I visit my utopia of Capricornia to be free. Most would say that's not normal, but for me, life is but a dream and your reality is what it seems. I'm sitting in the crib I found on Craigslist, staring out in space, scheming what my next move is. I'm thinking that it's time to move west, no idea what I'm doing, I'm just trying my best not exactly where i thought i'd be honestly a nine to five never was in my dreams i've been feeling all alone lately nothing i ain't used to since 88 as a baby when i came up out the womb everybody knew it was something special about me that fills the room i never understood it but my og told me it's a blessing i should use it to the fullest and that's what i've been trying to do but it's hard to keep a smile on your face while paying dues Damn, it's hella cloudy in the room And the shadow of reality is darkest when it glooms I'm in the midst of the world I wish someone could see me Surrounded by clouds, free me It's like an endless dream Leading to endless roads I wanna be free from the army of clouds I dream about a month ago While I was sleeping on the couch in my parental's house That's when I knew that it was time for me to up and go So I booked it, couple friends took it personal Like why you just up and go? Ain't even bother to tell nobody that's rude, bro It was unintentional Conversations with myself, I need a hospital I think I've gone bipolar Half of me is conservative and the other stoner I think I lost the love that I had from a good girl The temp is negative 18, yeah that's a cold world Janis Joplin that's playing on my Pandora station Cosmic blues, just some emotional life changes Whole time, no, I gotta stop looking back Because the future's not a present, gotta get on I'm track I'm in the midst of the world I wish someone could see me Surrounded by clouds, free me It's like an endless dream Leading to endless roads I wanna be free from this army of clouds